Yeah, my jam is find what feels good to you. And I recommend that you keep record of all the wonderful work that you're doing because it is very, very important. So my jam today, um, I tried to think of something that is was useful. Um, but also something that I've learned a lot over the last years, and that is uh, record keeping. It is just a fundamental part of our job. And I want to relate it also to the connection that we can have as counselors. So I went through the whole, I guess I have a record keeping journey. I went from having a notebook full of notes that I just wrote whatever to my mind and I carried around school. And at the end of the year was this battered little thing, you know, falling out. And then I moved on to a Google Doc that I had a template, you know, like date, student, and who was involved, and they made a minute of it. And it was easier and a little bit more organized, but it was also tedious, you know, having to make a copy of the template every time I had an interaction that I want to keep record of. Even though it, it sounded it, tedious and now I know that it was so annoying to do, I was okay with it until one day I got um, through a CTC email chain, someone, a fellow counselor shared a Google form version of that. And it was a counselor um, activity form, something like that. And I was just blown away. And I made a copy of that Google form and I adapted it to my needs, to my students. And after that, everything changed. It was so easy. I could just, you know, finish something and quickly upload it on my phone. And my process was streamlined. And it was it was thanks to that connection that I had through the CTC, two other counselors. I'm the only, I was the only counselor in my building. So it was important for me to know that I could count on these people. And then I started to share everything that I could because I felt so grateful about it. Now, why, what am I doing with all these records? I'm not just keeping them and, you know, completing Google form after Google form. I'm using them to refresh my memory before meetings, because one thing about the Google form is that retrieving that information is so easy and everything is organized. Everything is just there to understand. You don't really have to do an extra step after doing that. So what am I using the Google form or the information for? I use it to refresh my memory. I use it to advocate for my role if I have to. Um, you know, what is a counselor doing? This is a <coughs> sort of situation. Um, I use it if I, I find myself in a situation that I say, okay, a couple of years ago, something like this happened. What happened then? Like, what did I do? What was the intervention that we used back then that was helpful or not? So I can check my own records, my own past interventions as resources for what I'm handling right now. Yeah, my, my gem in, to summarize is the importance of keeping records, how you can find something that fits your needs. And I super recommend Google Forms and also being grateful that I got to Google Form because of the connection between a lot of counselors. So sharing what you have Maybe a resource like this, or maybe um, your experience using it, or anything else that you've had in your in your in your experience. That the record keeping can work for that. You know, if one time I use this and that, and you check your records and say, "Oh, this is what I was doing," and you can share it with new counselors or with new connections that you make. Um, it's made all the difference for me over the six years. It's helped me grow as a counselor. It helped me um, feel confident to do this again. To stand here in my room and, you know, say something to you guys about my experience. Yeah, my jam is find what feels good to you. And I recommend that you keep record of all the wonderful work that you're doing because it is very, very important what we all do.